Thank you for tuning in to TalkWad.com, the world's fastest growing internet radio network. Please check out all the other great shows on www.talkwad.com. Radio.com. From all studios to the world, we bring you the finest in quality entertainment. So grab a groupie, throw some horns, and settle in for another fine show from RockSlamRadio.com. Oh. If you are watching this, don't be afraid. Controlling this remotely and tracking you now through the internet. Your IP address is unique, like a fingerprint or a shoe print in the snow that leads directly to your home. Lock your doors. Cover your windows and settle in for a night with Mad Street Hotel. It is for your protection from the things that go bump in the night. It's Mad Street Hotel. With your host, Michael Madstre, featuring unsigned artists, unpaid guests, videos and music, and possibly a visit from a lucid stoner. Sit back and enjoy on your iPod, iPad, ThinkPad, or MaxiPad. And now, Michael Madstre. Hello, hello. <laughs> we made it. Well, it's good to be here, and I'm I'm glad you're with us on Mad Street Hotel. Um, if you haven't been here before, we're glad you're here. We hope you're you're here to spend the night with us. Uh, we've uh, got a lot of nice suites overlooking the city. Uh, we have uh, fresh linens, fresh towels, a large screen TV. And uh, a fresh mint on the middle of your bed. But before that, you might want to hit our club level. We're going to do some, we're also going to do some things on the spa level that you might be interested in. So, on the spa level tonight, I've brought a friend. He's uh, Charlie from uh, Chinese Tea Culture and, and uh, very interesting background. We've had him on once before. Um, his uh, family was into uh, herbal medicine uh, in China, and his wife, uh, his wife's family was in tea, and it just seemed like a natural fit for them both to uh, launch this uh, wonderful business, and much to our benefit and much to our health benefit. So um, let's, uh, he'll be on in just a little bit. We've got a few things to get through first. Um, Next, we're going to be hearing uh, from a new band called King Cousin Blue. Uh, a couple of tunes from him, uh, them throughout the night. Uh, the first one up would be called Soft Spot. Then we're going to hear from Steve Farrar, Broken Dreams. He's been on the show. We've entered, hit, viewed him before, and I want to hear that tune one more time, and I hope you do too. Then we have a, uh, a tune... Uh, from Jim Needham and Norman Alistan called Tender Grass. And then we're going to have uh, uh, an, one, more, one more band on the show. This is really a music night for music. Broken Sons of Karma. We're going to listen to them again. We broke them on the, on the show last week, and uh, we're going to follow up this week. 
So um, first thing I want to do is head for the commercial. As you know, we're sponsored by some pretty classy, pretty classy. Mad Street Hotel is brought to you by The Booger Maker. It's snot nice to fool Mother Nature. Scientists have been studying the adhesive and protective qualities of nasal fluid when combined with the impurities of the air. These studies have been utilized to bring boogers into the 22nd century by duplicating the unique properties of these fluids for mass production. You can now own your own personal booger maker with this home version made especially for retail sales Enjoy the many health benefits that the booger maker can provide. My first earwax castle construction set. Put those natural materials to work as you design your very own earwax castle with ease. This is the first construction grade set to utilize real building techniques instead of the huge hip analog technology of the past. You can be your own contractor with My First Earwax Castle Instruction Set. Okay. And thank you to our sponsors for being so supportive. We really appreciate it. Um, next, we're going to uh, <coughs> going to episode six of Amsterdam and Gilly. Are you ready for that? You know, last week they just about got inside the hotel. And tonight, I'm looking forward to them actually making it in. What a lovely hotel this is, Gilly. This lobby really rocks the Casbah. <laughs> and I think I just saw Cheech Marin in the elevator. <laughs> was that Lindsay Lohan he was with? <laughs> mm, I couldn't tell from here, but this place seems a bit pricey. Don't embarrass us in front of the girls, Hamster Dan. Jeez, man up. Do you think they will accept euros? No, Amsterdam. The sign says only pesos and Krugerrands. Don't you have a credit card? Uh, it may be in my other jacket. It's been seven episodes since you wore your corduroy Jack Black jacket. Well then, this transaction may be an issue. Figure it out, Amsterdam. The girls and I are going to the club level to rock. Catch you later. Hello, we're back. Okay. So I'm right here to uh, start the interview with uh, our guest, Charlie, from uh, Chinese Tea Culture. Charlie's actually a very good friend of mine, and I'm I'm so proud of the business he's doing over there. He's at Countryside Mall, and uh, what a great looking store! I, I've got to say, I'm fascinated every time I go in there. But the things that you can't see are the things that are the most important, and those are the teas inside all of the little jars along along the wall. And the only way I can figure out what's behind all those doors is to talk to Charlie and his wife in person and they they're the ones that actually suggest the teas for me so Charlie tell me a little bit, bit about uh, about the business in case these people haven't seen the other interview uh, see other interview 
No, I said they haven't seen the other in the previous interviews. So tell us about your about Chinese tea culture and what the concept is. And oh, we um we are, are specialized for um herbal teas and a lot of good health benefits and um, uh, it's it's help people all the health benefits. Yeah. Um, let's see. So. I know that uh, some people have come in for infertility, for example. Um, I know that, let's see, let's see, we've got something up on the screen. Now, you can't see it out there, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, I, wonder if, I wonder if we can see this website. Let's see, so I'm going to look for... There's so many lists on there. Oh, there's, Wow. So let's say you had problems with your kidneys. I'm going to pull that up. And it says... You can go to their website. Their website is www.chineseteachculture.com. You can look at this as we're looking at it on your, uh, on your computer. So for the kidney... And uh, for the kidney, you can have uh, like a wet berry, uh, Buddha teas, and a jasmine flower. This three things combined together is very good help for uh, our kidney or kidney stones. So, so now, now that's backed up by what? By s centuries of medicine, or, or who did the studies on these? Um, this is uh, 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 all the experts. It's already been studied many years, and um, of course we have uh, our family background is herbal tea. Uh, doctors, uh, that's why we, we all know this is very good for the kidney stones, for kidney, kidney stones to, you know, more, make the kidneys more healthier. Right. It says uh, Buddha tea, uh, and it says uh, then jasmine flower, and then wolfberry, and that's, that's for t to help improve your kidney health. So now let's go back. I'm going to go look at something else. All right, in case you've got memory problems. Now, who doesn't have memory problems? Wh what will actually help help the memory? Okay, memory, we, ha we have uh, a rosemary and a, uh, plus a gingo tea together to help you, you know, the brain, brain functions. And I think that's right. I think I've heard, heard that ginkgo can help uh, memory quite a bit. Yes. So uh, how do those taste together? Do they taste? Uh, taste just like a uh, pretty much like a green tea, and you know it's not bad. And uh, this is a herbal tea. It's not like a uh, herbal medicine. Herbal medicine is more bitter, but okay. this herbal tea, is, I think, the taste is great. Super. So um, I'm going to go back now. You'd be fascinated with this uh, this website. They've done this pretty well. You can see all the different types of teas, herbal tea, flower tea, green tea, oolong, black tea, white tea. Wow, this is this is matcha tea, ma mate tea, blooming tea. Ah, like the blooming onion. Right. Chai tea, tea food. Oh, they make food out of tea. Yes. What do they make out of tea? Out of yeah, all kind of, uh, uh, of foods you can make tea. It's dried up. And a very good taste. Candy. I see natural lump candy. Mm -hmm. I see ginger honey crystals and organic crystallized ginger. Now, you, you've given me some of this organic crystallized ginger. Yes. That's really very good. And it's very good for digestion, isn't it, ginger? Yeah, it's very good uh, uh, for digestion, for your sore throat, for many things. Fantastic. Um, <clears throat> let me go back here the main menu so if you can grab your I hope you have your computer most of us do or your iPod iPad or maxi pad <laughs> and uh, and look this up Chinese tea culture dot com and look at it with us all right so where are the um, the health benefits let's see go to therapeutic teas therapeutic teas yes Right here. Okay. This one? Right, right here. Therapeutic tea. Scroll down. Now we're scrolling down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got it. So bronchitis, 
acne. You have teas for athletic endurance. Uh, now, did Lance Armstrong contact you at all about these teas? No, I'm sorry. Lance Armstrong, did he contact you about the athletic endurance? You mean someone contacted me? Yeah. <clears throat> no. No. Evidently not. Mm -hmm. Alzheimer's? I'm sorry, what did I say? Alzheimer's. Oh, yes, Alzheimer's. That would be good. Um, antioxidants. Tell me, tell me about antioxidants, what they do. Antioxidants. Okay. Uh, okay, antioxidants, uh, the poor tea, Taiwanese. And then those tea is, 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 is it's uh, poor tea is like a uh, black tea, but it's very good for help weight loss. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Very good for weight loss. Huh? Yeah, the Taekwondin, uh, Taekwondin is uh, there's many, many health benefits. For example, and then can help your blood circulation and the weight loss and then remove the cholesterol. There's many, many <coughs> hundreds of health benefits. Ta Taiwan Yin. Right. That's not something that rolls off the tongue. <coughs> That's the name of the teas. Yeah. And then this is the actual name. And um, uh, it's, 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 it's between, uh, it's considered uh, uh, Oolong teas families. And also we have uh, silver needles. That's white teas. And there's a lot of health benefits. Oh, silver, it's a, it's a white tea. I didn't know that there's a black tea and there's a white tea and there's a green tea. Yes. What else is there? And um, also we have uh, like a CTC remedies and um, all the fruity teas. It's all good for antioxidants. Nice, nice. Okay, so let's, let's scroll back here. I'm going to look for... Okay, bad breath. <laughs> Are you ready for this, folks? <laughs> What's good for bad breath? Okay, there's a breath mint tea. Yes, it's a uh, osmanthus flower and the ginseng together. And the ginseng give you very, very good energies. Okay. Um, I think right now we're going to uh, we're going to come back and, t and look at this, and I hope you, in the in the meantime, while you're listening to this great music that's going to come up, I want you to pull up www.chineseteaculture.com and look at this with us, because um, really it's fantastic. I'm drinking tea, and I drink tea every show from Chinese Tea Culture. It calms me down, provides an antioxidant. Although it does happen to warm me up and it's not very cool in this room. So, um, we're going to try this, uh, this song by uh, King Cousin Blue. I hope you like it. It's, a, it's, a, it's not a new tin, but it's a new artist for us.
are back. So we're going to go back to our uh, well, look at the website. Hopefully you have found it. www.chineseteaculture.com We're going to pull it up here. Uh, <coughs> I would like to plus it. Here we go. So therapeutic teas. Scroll down. Oh, this, this thing is driving me crazy. I, I got to get my right hand on it. I, I can't do left-handed at all. Okay, um, anxiety. You know, there's something that plagues uh, probably three out of five people have some form of anxiety. Uh, and it would be nice to know what could kind of calm you down, even in the middle of the day or right before going to... Uh, it, it, would this be the same thing that would help put you to sleep at night? Uh, Oh, so you've got a daytime and a nighttime formula for anxiety. Tell me about that. Yeah. <coughs> and daytime is a lemon ball with a Buddha tea together. And nighttime is going to be lavender and chamomile together. Is when you before go to bed and uh, help you relax, go to sleep, calm your down. Now, he here's the thing I'd like to, like to get across to our audience is that you know, you, you hear lavender and chamomile, okay, or, uh, or Buddha tea. And if you're like I am, you're, you immediately think of, oh, well, I've seen that in the store, in the little tea bags. You know, I can go, go get some of that myself. What's in the tea bags is what they sweep off the floor. <laughs> What's in the tea bags is what they sweep off the floor. We're talking about the whole plant, the whole plant, and he has this shipped over from, from, from I'm sure the, these things come from all over the world, and, and you're getting the whole flower. You know, he, he get, uh, Charlie <coughs> gave me a bit of tea. He told me the tea costs $200 an ounce, okay? He gave me this tea. And it's from a flower that grows high up, up on a, in a mountain range. It's tough to get to. And so he puts it in a cup and he fills it full of water. And I, it's, it's quite a nice tea. And he says, you can refill that five times. So I did that. I, re, I refilled it with, with, um, with hot water uh, five different times. So at, at, the, at the fifth time, I just kind of let the water sit in there, sit in there, sit in there. And eventually I got around, I was going to throw it out. So I, I, when I put it into the sink, I'm looking at actual flowers in my sink. You, you understand that? You're making tea from the actual plant, the whole plant. And that's what tea's all about. That's what real tea's all about. That's not what lip or whatever that Lipitor tea is and, uh, and some of the others. This is not leavens on the on the uh, on the floor. These are the whole plants. It's a it's kind of a holistic approach. You know, you're <laughs> getting you're getting the best that nature has to offer into your body, and that's an antioxidant. So when, when he says lavender, you're going to see when when he when he. When you say, I'll take some lavender and chamomile, you're going to see the whole plant go into that bag. You're going to look at it, and you will have never seen a collection of, um, of herbs as you'll see at the Chinese tea culture. Yeah, all those tea is 100% um, organic. Uh, so you no know, poisons were used on them? <laughs> no. And this is all straight organic. It's, it's, it's totally different than tea bags. And it's, it's more health benefits you get into. Yeah, I, I, I was just floored when I saw the flowers in my sink and I thought, you know, I just drank basically the essence. It's like pouring hot water over, over um, these, um, these plants that were growing in the highest part of the earth 
and that's all kind of going into it's you know going into my body and, I, and I'm getting health benefits that no one else is getting because that's a very rare place on, on the face of the earth so anyway um, let's go back so so we've got a daytime formula which is lemon balm and Buddha tea and then for nighttime anxiety lavender and chamomile now we've all seen chamomile tea we've seen the little fuzzy bear on the cartons <laughs> You're not getting the whole flower. You're not getting the benefits of the whole flower. You're getting perhaps the taste of chamomile, but you're not getting the benefit of chamomile. All right, so let's let's take a little trip back here. See what else what else we got here. This website is just incredible. I encourage you to go find it. Cholesterol, constipation. Oh, okay. You, you got me there. <laughs> it's one of my favorite subjects. Let's take a look at what constipation. If you have a problem with constipation. If people have a constipation, you can <clears throat> drink in a peach flower with pink plus pink rose bud. Uh, normally, for probably take a, after you drink a couple of teas, a couple of glass, and then probably take you one hour. Later, the stomach starts to make a noise, and then will completely out. And then it's it's very good for help, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, detoxify your body. Yeah, and you, you got to get things moved through. Uh, if they if they stick around, you're gonna have trouble. You're gonna have problems, and uh, it, it actually helps you you gain weight. If you're constipated most of the time, you, you're gaining weight. From that that food, because your body's still absorbing, uh, basically absorbing calories and and things from from that uh, from the waste as it sits in your colon. So you, so this helps you kind of move all that through. Yeah, uh, it, 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 it's it's a completely move out and make you will feel very good second day. Absolutely. Yeah. When you're drinking, you better then stay home. Do not go out. It's very inconvenient when you're in public. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't. Oh, what a mild way to say that. And so, if you drink that tea, uh, you better be ready for results. That's all I got to say about that. Okay, acne is not something I have a problem with, but you know what? There's probably somebody out there that does. Uh, wow. Okay. If you've got acne, you must have constipation because exactly here we are: peach flower, rosebud, and lavender. So you're you're saying that there's a connection between uh, your body not processing its waste and acne and extra oils and things. Mm-hmm. Wow, I, I I didn't know that. Did you? Okay. Yeah. Well, Charlie, I'm going to thank you very very much for coming back. I, ho I hope you'll come back again. I hope you don't consider this a drag to drive all the way over here. But no, we we, uh, we like to share more information for health benefit for to the public. You know, um, let people getting know about the tea or diabetes tea, what it's all about. If you have something that that bothers you, that ails you, something the doctors told you, you have to watch. Um, I, I, I tell you, go over to Chinese Tea Culture and just share with these guys what's going on and they will find a tea that suits you and, 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 and meets that need for you. So anyway, thank you very much, Charlie. We're going to move on to our club level at this point. What am I looking at here? Ah, one of my favorites. And this, is, this was a big hit last week. I, I've got to play it again because I think it's such a powerful tune. It's called Tender Grass. Apart. Don't you think that I remember? 
the last thing you said to me. And if not inclined to see silver in the lining, much less treasure made of gold. As the time brought us to our knees, as we grow old, and even though we pen the final chapter, still a happy love remains. Why should the writing on our hearts carry the blame? Let the new rain cool and cleanse the memory, and paint the past in a watercolor hue. Me and you, me and you. After winter's kill comes spring and summer. Is it the lion or the lamb? Why must we always choose the same direction when the tender grass sprouts anew? Try one more from the from the club level. It's called uh, "Broken Sons of Karma." We tried these guys last week. Let's listen to them again this week. Hope you're enjoying Rock Slam Radio.
We're back. So I've got uh, one interesting segment. You know, we, here at the hotel, we have a lot of uh, a lot of action going on. We've got the club level with all the bands and the groups, and we've got the spa level with the and gift level with the teas and the uh, therapeutic. Um, if you uh, if you'd be interested in uh, interviewing here with us, uh, you can just. Uh, Go to uh, MadStreetHotel at gmail.com. MadStreetHotel at gmail.com. Um, and uh, let me know what's, uh, if you'd like to be interviewed and, and what's, what's interview worthy. You know, uh, if you've got something to share, maybe you've got a, a, a nail salon or a, a shop or a gift shop and uh, you'd like to share some things with some people, well... This will be the place to do it. So we're going to try something that uh, interesting here at the hotel. We get uh, things like in our business center, we get uh, faxes in. So I'm going to uh, walk you through one of the very strange faxes that we got. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's check this out. All right. So... Um, <clears throat> Let me pull it up here. You can see it, but I can't. And we've got to turn off all this crap. Take that off. Take that off. It's still on there. How can I get rid of that? I agree. There we go. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so we got this fax in. And, and I don't know... We get all kinds of crazy things on our fax machine. This is Dear Hotel Owner. Crasco Industries will save you hundreds of dollars on hyper-organic cleaning supplies that your guests will rave about. So I'm thinking, okay, so we can save a couple of bucks on, uh, on cleaning supplies. Let's see what they have to offer. Milkweed Deer Scent Gland. Room Fresh Spray. That doesn't sound very nice. The Ascent Glam. Okay, so, but then they have other products. Methane and other sewage-based spot removers. This must really be an, an organic company of some sort. Kind of clever. Cadaver remover and cadaver plus disposable body bags. When's the last time you... Uh, you needed a body bag. Yeah, let's see. Maybe further down. So cadaver remover and cadaver plus disposable body bags. This, this is really an unusual company. Puke away junior for those tough corners in the guest room. Well, I must say that sometimes after a long night of partying, sometimes the guests do have a, a moment or two and we have to do some, uh, some cleanup. So they're suggesting puke away junior. So then, um, this is this is interesting. White fish scented shampoo products and conditioners. Now that will keep those products from walking away. You know how guests like to stick things in their purse and and uh, throw them in their bag, and uh, you know they didn't really use the shampoo or the conditioner, but they, you know, just grab them anyway. Well, this would kind of stop that right away because who in the Heck wants a white fish scented shampoo. And it, and uh, further down the facts, let's see, let's go further down the facts. And the entire line of toilet turd body wash and skin lotion. Okay, that doesn't sound like very much fun to me at all. But of course it would save us money. Hundreds of dollars, they say. This month only, we're offering as a bonus... A six-month supply of decorative pillow mints made from recycled socks and dog toys. Fax your order today to the number above. Remember, Crasco, when your guests demand their money back. And I'm sure they would if we carried any of these products or cleaned with any of these products. All right. Um, we've got uh, one more tune by... Uh, Hold on, we've got 
soft spot. We're, mi we're, we're missing something. We're missing tripping on the race. I don't know if there's any way to get that. It ain't there. Okay, it would have been the second to last. Uh, so I think we're screwed here. We're going to go ahead and play this one. I wanted to play Trippin' on the Race, but uh, we don't have it available at the moment. So we're going to end with this. This will go into the outro, and we'll say goodnight from here. <laughs>
What was that? I'll tell you what that was. That was another fine show from rockslamradio.com. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in to TalkWad.com, the world's fastest-growing internet radio network. Please check out all the other great shows on www.talkwad.com.